Hello guys. So, um, right, okay, so today I'm going to do or prepare the first part of um, the clocks. Now I've got the two resin, part A and part B, and that is again my favourite use of Prezin Row Transparent, which is 100 to 30 percent as in uh, weight, uh, 100 to 60 sorry. So I've done um, a ratio of 25 to 15, which is the corresponding weight ratio. So I've just, well, I'm only going to be doing the numbers at the moment and I've just cleaned this would you believe but because I've got my doors open because I'm working with resin as soon as I stand up to switch the camera on my dog hairs have jumped into the mould so I think just using a bit of masking tape to get rid of any stray ones again something in that V so let's get him out there we are I think that is all nice and clear once again. Right, so let's just leave that without further ado. Stick that in the bin, get rid of the dog hair that's on there. Right, so obviously you've got to mix for a couple of minutes now. I've just bought some um, white. I know I've got some, uh, some really strong white pigment. And I am going to be doing these because I'm going to be doing like a, a red and black clock on one of them and not sure on the other colour yet. Um, I'll probably decide that later on and I may get a chance to do it and finish the video today. So um, just to let you guys know, I am new to resin, very new as in a couple of weeks and I just thought I'd share my journey with you. Uh, hopefully you'll join one of my groups on Facebook. I have an art and craft selling group which sells a lot of um, bits and pieces you wouldn't normally get in the shops, the, uh, the craft shops, hobby craft and things like that. And some of them, if you do, um, I'm a lot cheaper. So um, I've got things for mainly mixed media. I've just started stocking resin and resin moulds. I've also got a resin group uh, specifically just for resin because there is a lot of resin lovers out there. And if you would like the link for that, I will um, I will put it on the um, comments, uh, on the description, sorry, of this. And I'll also put my other art group and my Etsy shop because I sell a lot of stuff through there as well. Although I am still busy just listing a few bits each day on there. Um, mainly because I'm busy doing all sorts of bits of projects as well as um, resin. So without further ado, I think I'm going to, I think I've mixed this for a couple of minutes now while I've been chatting with you. So um, I'm just going to be doing the numbers. This is a boring bit, so I don't know whether you want to fast forward through this or not. I will put it on a fast forward anyway. So um, I'm just going to add the colour. Now I did just buy a white. Now let me just find it because I didn't have it ready. Blanco. Okay, so this is supposed to be, now these are new paints. So. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not going to use that one. I'm, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use uh, my strong pigment white. Now this is, um, you know where you create your cells for your uh, waves on ocean views and things like that? Well, I can't get um, the casting craft resin um, colour. So I am just going to take the smallest amount because this is very strong pigment and this is the Spanish version because I am in Spain let's just get the lid on that so let's just scrape that off and see if that's enough last time I used this I tried it and I put quite a bit in 
and it was so strong and it did kind of overtake a bit so I'm just going to add a little bit at a time to see how it goes It's a little bit opaque, so I'm going to add a little fraction a bit more. So you've got to remember your ratio, no more than 10% of any uh, colour that you're putting in your mixes. That much I do know, or else it affects the setting qualities of your resin. And this resin is a really good one. Um, very very few bubbles that I'm getting with this at all mix is nice I've had no reactions with it and it's got a um, 30 degree temperature uh, working time of an hour and 20 minutes but majority of the time this is a lot hotter in Spain than 30 degrees but today it is August and it's about at the end of August but it's 22 degrees outside I'm really pleased it's nice and cool so I can actually do some resin because if it's too hot and it was a cool day yesterday it's even cooler today um, which I'm really pleased and I forgot to put my gloves on so I'm just gonna do that oops the daisies excuse me can I get my gloves because I accidentally had a bit of an accident yesterday with the resin I've got some resin on my um, fingers, I don't know how because I wore gloves but somehow it must have transferred when I was taking them off and I went to the bathroom and wiped myself and it stung and stung and stung so please wash your hands before you do anything else after working with resin whether you've been wearing gloves or not I do not recommend you find out the way I did all right so I think that's thoroughly mixed now and I think I've probably made too much here even with 25 grams of um, product actually that's quite thick on there so let me just scrape that off and give it another good mix that's more than enough white for this particular thing so without further ado let me get a baby wipe and just wipe this stick off I sell these as well these are really great I think they're five for six pound fifty but just check my shop out on Facebook well it's not shop it's a, it's a group page I'm um, called art and craft supplies on there all right so okay so I'm gonna I'm use a different popsicle let's just get one for application so got white numbers going on here oh, there's another bit there and I've just cleaned them so what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in there and also I've got some toothpicks because this hasn't got a point on it obviously I want to oh, I want to make sure that it all goes in the corners I think I should need a light actually because it's rather dark in here Right, I'm going to speed up this video now and I'm also going to get a light on it so I can see what I'm doing because it's rather dark in this little corner because I've got the blinds down.
Okay, so now I've done the uh, numbers. I did put um, a little colour differentiation because I couldn't see from the clear background to the clear what I was doing. So I think I used a darker one next time, but this was just what I could grab quick to hand. So yeah, so I've got the, these two all ready to go and I'll come back a little bit later once they're cured. I'm just going to cover them up now because it's very windy and I don't want to get any more dust in them. Then you've seen me picking out as we've been going on. Hello and welcome back. Well, it's the following day for you. Uh, for me, sorry. And about two seconds for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've decided I want to do two different styles of Clock. Sorry, I'm just getting off a. I've just noticed on one of the numbers there's a little bit of drippage from the white. And as it's not going to have any white in it, that's why I chose it for the numbers. I don't want any flying around where it's not meant to be. So, I should have watched this before I. Uh, checked it before I started the video but never mind so that's that done dusted and ready so what I've done I poured some white in as you've seen earlier in the video and I'm going to choose two colors because this is going to go on my wall for this for this one so I've got this metallics from deco art um, it doesn't really give the name. Alright, so Granata G Garnet. Garnet. So it's metallic. So I'm going to use some of that. And this kind of like got damaged in transit, so I'm hoping the lid will come off. <laughs> but this is amethyst and it's of metallic. So we're going to do a purple and red clock because. That's what my husband requested. So um, I'm going to use two of these little pots. I've already mixed the resin up. Um, there's 100 mils of part A and 60 mils of part B in uh, weight. Sorry. So it's a 100 to 60 ratio. So. And I want some clear as well. So. I'm just going to put a little bit of it in for the colours and I've got quite a bit left still for the clear. I might need more, I'm not sure yet, but we will see. Let's just move the clock a little bit that way so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, look at that colour. That is rather rich looking. Always have baby wipes to wipe your hands. That's handy. Ooh. I think this needs a bit of a stir first. Has been stood for a little while because it's not been opened. Better, all the surface liquid is now mixed in. Just that one can get thrown away. I don't need that stick now. So one little blob, and we'll see how that mixes in. going to need some more because it's very clear. Don't forget to straighten the bottoms and the sides while you're colouring. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that colour now. And onto the purple, fingers crossed this opens and it's not Oh good, it opened. Bit of brute force wins the day. I don't want lumpy bits in the uh, mix, so let's get rid of them first. And give it a mix as well because it's been stood for the same amount of time as the other one. All that metallic oils back in there, whatever it is that they put in there to make it metallic. Don't need that one. I'll tell you what, with this. Um, with resin work, it doesn't half so I'll give it doesn't half leave a lot of um, mess. You use a lot of stuff, so I'm going to put that in, and then I'll probably add another little bit more as well, like I did with the other. Sorry, you might not be able to see that. Sorry, <laughs> I was going off camera there. see through still so let's have a little bit more shouldn't need more than that again you need to be careful with your ratios no more than 10 percent of your colorant into um, your acrylic because it will affect setting times okie dokie I might just put a little bit more of that in. One more drop and that's it. Because it was still a bit opaque. So what I'm going to do, because I've got colourant all over me, I'm just going to change this glove. Let's get rid of that one. And where have I put my gloves? Right over there. Oh gosh, no, they're not going to go on because my hand's sticky, so I've still got one. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this one for me. So hopefully you can still see that. Oh, and I want to do a little bit of silver in it, so I've just mixed, put some uh, glitter in this. And I'm just going to... I don't need a lot of that. I want to keep it nice and thick. Where's my popsicle? And all those glitter lovers, I'm going to do a glitter clock with the other Roman numerals one. All I need to do with this is just make sure that all the glitter is all mixed in. And I've got some resin on. So it's one of my disposable little cups because it's glitter. And it's a real sew and saw to get off the pots. It does tend to go everywhere, but it does look so nice, so we'll leave it off. So, um, because this sinks, I'm going to do a little bit of this. Okay. 
So, I was going to use the little wiggly bits, but um, stripy lines, but we started off with this, so we may just stick with that. I don't know why I'm doing it with my left hand when I'm right handed. I'm not sure if it'll even stay this way, but we will see. That's a rather big bit. enough of that one. Oh, the purple, I think. taking care to not get it on my fingers then but that didn't succeed okay so let's get rid of that one I've got a pesky fly around me all right so this isn't going to take a, a lot more resin As you see some of the glitters rose. Okay, that wasn't a bad guess though, so that takes I think I better leave it there because it takes roughly about 160 mils. So I shall let that go dry because it's on a tiny, tiny little bit. And then when it's hard, I shall pull it out. It's the easier way to do. Now I've got to move this very gently over there. And I've oh, go away, pesky fly. There is a flaming fly buzzing around. over there and this one here right so there's the top of the clock 10 11 12 there you are so this one oh excuse 
me a minute while I just find another baby wipe. I had a full pack somewhere ready for my use and now it seems to have done a runner. Oh, it's fallen on the floor, that's why. Right. Squeaky noise. I'm going to add, add glitter so I've got that silver there so I think that should be enough for that bit so I'm going to add see I can add si uh, clear on the back afterwards so I'm just putting little bits of the uh, resin in here I'm going to need much more. Let's just add a little bit more in that silver because I can use that for this one as well because I was going to use silver anyway. I've got quite a few colours going on in this particular clock and I've got a tiny bit just in case I need any more. So let's mix that one up. It's getting nice and warm now, this resin, so I don't have much work time now. So I've got a copper one. I bought these from the pound shop in the UK before I came over to Spain. And I might get some more when I go back because they're really good value for money. Because as you know, glitter is not cheap in the resin world. So, and I've got... Um, It's, it's, it's glitter, but it's really shiny, snowflakey type glitter. So I've got a pale baby blue. Yeah, I did have one more, but I can't seem to find any more little pots. So as I throw these away. Um, I'm going to take this stick out now because I'm not going to have a glitter all over it. I should put it there for the moment and wipe it with a baby wipe after. Where did I just put my colour? Right, purple. So as you see, I've got plenty of colours. Right, that's enough of that one. Okay, so mixing away. This is the boring bit. Well, it won't take long. Oh, look at the colour of that one. That is stunning. I think I'm going to be getting a few more of them ones when I come back over to the UK to visit family. Oh, beautiful. actually got those from the range I think no it's out of the range or the pound shop so I, I can't remember but there we go there's another one down and this blue this blue looks delicious not that I'm gonna eat it but you know what I mean so yummy and last but last least this one. These big mixing, mixing pots, I get these from, um, we have a clubhouse because I live in um, a mobile home and they've got um, a pool area with a club bar, a bar area so when you go by the pool they give you these cups and they're really good for resin and really good sizes so I'm really happy about that right so that one's that so without further ado let's start getting this in so I was thinking of actually keeping it into one sort of area so I'm basically gonna pour it and then I'm gonna let, wait a little while because I need to obviously add other colors
as you see they're merging quite nicely but keeping their own space Go. That blue was losing its way there. I've not got any more of that, so I might just use the stick to drag this foot. It's just a case of building it up with the rest. Now I am getting rather full. And what I might do with the other bit, I've got a little heart sitting here. So let's use it up. And we'll have like a, a dirty pour effect. gold left in this hmm. I don't think I've got any of this left maybe a smidgen dropped it gosh don't want to be making another mistake you're making off of those while you're doing resin when you're learning just use that same stick for the silver 
I hope you can see this. So 160 mils did both crops and a little bit left over. So that's not a bad resin. So you don't need to charge over the earth for your finished product because resin is expensive and it's not used a huge amount. So that was good. something like half a heart which I can use as a key ring. That's about as much as I can get out of there. And I'm just going to wipe my hands because I have got resin on them. I don't advise using resin without gloves, but as I couldn't get it, my glove on, it is what it is. So I've got my half filled 3D heart there, full of glitter. Oh, my dog's just about to have a barking session. And there she goes. So um, I'll be back tomorrow when these have had time to rest and do their thing. And I'm going to clean up. I'm going to torch for bubbles in a very short while, but I'm going to do that off camera because you don't really need to see that. You've probably seen it about a thousand and one times on other videos. All right. So I shall see you tomorrow two seconds for you right i've just torched um this now what i've decided to do is i'm going to take one of my sticks and i'm going to swirl but i'm going to do it not going to the pointy end but this so i'm going to do swirls and i'm just going to get a baby wipe so i don't transfer too much of one color into another because i want some nice pattern going on yeah I think that looks better than the stark um, sides I'm not sure whether that you'll be able to see that when I when it comes through or whether it's just going to be on this side. But we'll see. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Yep. So it's all still got its own segments, but it's all mixed in as well. I'm hoping that that will transfer through to the front. So fingers crossed for tomorrow. Okay, so the purple one. Put them into the light. Nice eye. Stand them up like that. Can you see the colours? Those are geo coasters that I've just made over the last couple of days you may have seen the videos on that but the sparkle on that is lovely i like it a lot and the white stands up so good and this one it's beautiful 
focus. Look at all those lovely colours. I thought that was a clear one. I thought, thought it would have been a bit more clearer, um, but not. I wanted it quite solid colour so you couldn't see through it, so that's good. Them. I've got some inspiration for um, a penny one as well from uh, YouTube so I'm going to do that in an American coin because that's what I've got plenty of so watch out for some more of these clocks 